guys. Um, so, as we have all seen in film marshals at one point and another, sorry, there's an itch on my arm, I found this one in film marshal that, ready, dun 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 dun, the gyro bowl. Um, so this is really my first time, um, doing a review that's not on diapers, um, and all that. Uh, there's a lot of misconceptions about the gyro bowl. And I want to try and clear some of those up. Um, overall, I really give a 7 or 8 on this product. Um, it comes with a lid, which is really nice. Um, you know, so you can put a lid on it. Um, let me take the food out. I saw this first advertised on TV, and of course my son is 15 months, um, he gets, let me move this down a little bit, he gets, you know, a whole bowl thing. Um, but the problem that we all have with kids that age, and even older, is that they like to tip their bowls over. Which, if they're not really hungry, but you give them a bowl of something, the first thing they're going to do is tip it over. And then you have a humongous mess to clean up and it's not really something you want to spend 15 minutes doing because you gave your child food. Um, they describe it on TV like it works like a globe. There's three parts. There's the inside bowl. Then there's this. So you can see if I roll it this way. There's this one that spins and the bowl spins the opposite way and then there's the actual inside part or the bottom of the bowl now a lot of people do bad reviews on the dry roll bowl because they don't work um... that's the biggest misconception i found because they do work they work for tiny toddlers not for big adults who decide they want to shake the bowl because, of course, the bowl is not meant for shaking. This bowl, all it is to do is, there's cereal in it, is to prevent the cereal from spilling. So, Malachi <laughs> decides he's done with his food and he doesn't want it anymore. Um, there has been a few times that I have been able to get the food out of there, but I have to do it really fast and then at that only like three pieces fell out um and it's I found it's easier to get a lot out a lot um them out easier if there's a lot in here or just a little bit in here for a toddler this is perfect um he's picking it up, grabbing it, taking it around, and he still has his food. Now, I'm going to tell you, you know, since people don't, that you can't shake it. Shaking it, going to spill it every time. Okay? These bowls are not made to be shaken. Of course, a child will shake them. It happens. But for the most part, the intended purpose, pur purpose, purpose, it works wonderful. Um, he's only spilled it once, and that's because he dropped it on the floor, and it had cereal in it again. So for the most part, he hasn't spilled it at all. Now the, it does come apart. Um so you can clean it. I found it to be a bit difficult um, when taking it apart just because you have to take out the this ring this ring over here which contains the bowl to clean it. Um, it is dishwasher safe though. See there's the inside part. 
there's a little bowl. I don't know if you guys can see this. Um, and then the, basically the bowl uh, comes out. Sorry. So, you know, if it gets dirty or something, you can take everything out and wash it. And then you just put it back together. Um, it takes a little practice to get it out and clean it. Um, so, overall, this product I would recommend to a parent, but it's not something, you know, of course they advertise it on TV, so it has to be super duper great on TV, um, and it really isn't all that great. I mean, it's great enough for, you know, $14.00. But the little munchkin cups, um, I know you can buy, I bought mine at Walmart in the baby department. And it's just a simple cup with a plastic top on it and they reach their hand in there, grab their snack, pull it out. Uh, I took my son a few, few days to learn how to reach his hand in there because he didn't want to reach his hand in there to grab the snacks. Um, but after he learned, excuse me, that that's what he had to do to get his snack. Which work for it. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, so this is the gyro bowl. Um, I would not recommend it at all for wet snacks. Um, just because I don't, I don't, I don't know. I just wouldn't recommend it for wet snacks. I think wet snacks would just be like Jello or pudding or um, what else? Or yogurt. Um. And that's because they tend to have a, a different mass of some sort. They don't, uh, these will pretty much move around easy and slide with the bowl. Um, and jello pudding and yogurt just don't have the same effect. So they're great for dry snacks, um, like cereal, goldfish, wafers, crackers, etc., etc. And I really like that it comes with the lid. Um, which makes it nice. Uh, so, I would also recommend them for older toddlers, not toddlers like my baby's age, because they just, um, they are getting down the concept of a bowl, but they don't fully understand it. Whereas older toddlers um, are careful with a bowl. They understand, you know, that if I tip my snack out, you know, it's going to be bad. So, that is my review on the Gyro Bowl. Um, all in all, it is a great product, and I would recommend it for any parent out there who is finding a solution, you know. <laughs> oh. For feeding their kids snacks. Um. It's a great concept, and a lot of people just don't realize that, you know, these are made for toddlers, not adults like me and you, but for babies. Um, and babies' hand-eye coordination are a lot different than our hand-eye coordination. We're able to do things a lot faster, a lot harder, a lot, you know, whereas children, not so much. Um, and I found a lot of things on them about people shaking the bowl um and that's just the big thing is it's you're not supposed to shake the bowl um if they drop it on the floor snacks gonna go flying everywhere so overall i do like this product i do like it i do do but um it isn't as great as they make it seem on tv it's great to have and I'm sure as he gets older, it will be even wonderful to have. But right now, um, we're still having to worry about the concept of, you know, the bowl. And I have to hold it, you know, upright and not turn it sideways, you know. Um, and save my snack for later kind of thing. So, that's my product review on the Jive Roll Bowl. Um... I did buy mine for $14.99 off eBay. 
and which was kind of stupid of me because I can go to the website and get two brand new ones uh, for $14.99. I buy one and I get the second one free. So uh, I would advise doing that. Go to their website. Um, there you go. So hope this helps little people, little people a little bit.